This I don't measure out, I just, you know, add as I go. All right, so we are on our way to go hike at this place called Billy Goat Trail. I think that's what it's called, Billy Goat Mountain, I don't know. Um, anyways, but my blood sugars are currently 177, which is a little high, but I don't have any insulin on board, so normally I would give a little bit of a correction, but I'm not going to because this hike, I think, is about six miles long, so the best thing to do is just wait it out. because my blood sugars are low and I probably should have just given like half insulin this morning for breakfast, but I didn't because I didn't really know. So anyways, I'm just waiting for them to come up. I still have a whole banana and a whole apple and two dates. take out my braids so I don't look like pippy long stockings. My hair is still kind of wet but that's okay. That's fine. <laughs> Today I got a package and it's been sitting here for a week and I've just been putting it off but I'm finally getting to it today and I wanted to get to it with you because this is an unboxing of my sewing machine. Fun fact, um, I'm going to start opening it and I'll talk to you while I'm doing that is that I actually started watching sewing videos when I was in the beginning of quarantine and I wanted a sewing machine so bad. Just watching people sew clothing, which is my intention. Couldn't find one online because I think everyone was probably buying them for masks, which is fabulous, but I was definitely out. So I've been wanting one of these for months. Another story is that I actually had a sewing machine growing up and I used it all throughout high school, sewing things with my grandma and somebody stole it. Can you believe that? We were selling her house and there were like open house, you know, things where people were coming in and I guess 
one of the realtors like didn't lock the door and someone stole a bunch of stuff and my sewing machine was one of those things. So, how unfortunate. I did some research online and I also talked with my mother-in-law who is like a, uh, you know, serious sewer. And this is what she recommended, okay. Yeah, come on, you did it. Sterling made it to the room, hello. Who wants to know what I have in this box? What do you think it is? You're exactly right, it's a sewing machine. It's like, I'm not dumb. Honestly, I have no idea where I'm gonna put this thing. It's really big. And today, we're gonna open this up and then we're going to go to Joanne Fabrics or something, like maybe Michael's, I don't know. And we're gonna get some fabric. I'm gonna start my first sewing project by just sewing a mask. Cause it looks like we're gonna be wearing them for a while. Hello Sterling. I wanted to open it up before I went to the fabric store just to see what all it came with. Oh my gosh. Here's all the extra stuff. Came with some needles and a footer and all of that jazz. This little thing threaded through, which is nice. Wow, is it like threaded all the way through? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Man, I haven't sewn in such a long time. I guess it's been like eight years since I've touched my sewing machine. Or a sewing machine, I should say. It goes out, okay. We will put all of our extra gadgets in there. Now that we have everything open, I need to get some fabric, probably some pins, and I already have fabric scissors even though I don't really think I need fabric scissors because I'm just going to be making a mask to start out with. But I have a lot of things that I want to make. Like, I really want to make a dress and a skirt. Skirts, for sure. I love circle skirts with turtlenecks underneath or like crop tops or, you know, just these like very simple skirts you see. And I know that I can make it. I mean, I never have, but how hard can it be? So I got this mask for free and it's fine, but um, all of that fabric, not that I got that much, but I think I got enough to make like four masks, which I don't need four masks, but they wouldn't sell to me any less. So all of that was $10 and I got thread and pens. So wow, any mask that I was trying to buy online was at least like $14. So, and the ones that I found in the store even that were like cheaper than that, they just didn't fit my face right. So I figure why not just make one to fit my own face. So here we go. All right, so the first fabric that I got is just like this green, it feels like there's something under there. It's just this green stuff and I got these cute pens. Look how cute these are. They were like a dollar more, but I had to. So I don't even know if I'm gonna use those. These are some fabric scissors and I maybe should trace it, but I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna kinda do it. It'll be fine. <laughs> I'm just gonna go for it. <laughs> I guess I'll do a little test fabric. This is obviously not a tutorial. Here we go. Ooh, that's nerve wracking. So much extra threat. <laughs> Ugh, I don't know what I keep doing wrong, but this keeps getting dangerous. Oh my gosh. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Cool. Oh, that's so cute. 
Is it comfortable? Yeah, it actually is. It's not bad. That's cute. You know why I did green? They will. Hopefully it will. Very pretty. Very pretty. Um, <laughs> it's kind of pointy, but it actually is really comfortable because there's room. Let me take this around and show you. Oh wow, that's cute. I'm filming for you too. Been planning to try out some of the recipes, so I'm just gonna do it. See how it turns out. I'm gonna make this beer bread. We don't uh normally drink ever. <laughs> I tell people that I don't drink, but I'm also not opposed to having a drink. I just don't usually drink. I have to like really want something. But usually, I just don't want any. I've also seen what it does to some people that I really love. And it kind of makes me not in the mood to drink. If you know what I mean, like once you see what a substance can do to someone, just kind of like, I also am really happy and content in my sober state of mind that I never feel really like I need to have a drink to have fun or have a laugh. So that's just kind of how I am. All right, here I'm just using three cups of spelt flour. I I have talked a little bit about spelt flour before in my biscuit recipe and how I, why I use it. Even though I'm kind of gluten free, I'm also kind of not because I do use spelt whenever I'm making like a bread. So there's that. This is a beer we've had for a while, for a long while. I feel like we've maybe had it too long, but I'm gonna try it anyways. How much, how much is this? How much is in a beer bottle? It smells like beer. I found this recipe on Food Network and I'm just kind of adjusting it a little bit to fit what I need. One tablespoon of baking powder, that's a lot. I feel like I should try it. Does bubbles count as liquid? I don't know. <laughs> it says use hands if necessary. Sorry, space filled up on my card. <gasps> uh oh. I definitely didn't put enough beer in. I just see now that this says 12 ounces in this whole thing and I did not put the whole thing. I probably put three fourths of it. So I don't know what's gonna happen. <laughs> We'll see, I guess. It does smell really good. I think I should have, I know I should have added more beer, but. I'm just gonna let it cool off on this rack. <laughs> 